This time we're going to call to order a regular meeting of the Franklin County Board of Commissioners on Monday, September the 13th, 2021 at 8, 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, due to the heightened risk of community transmission of coronavirus infection during this time, the Board of Commissioners will hold all hearings and meetings virtually through the end of September. We'll reassess uh, local conditions and risk factors on a monthly basis thereafter and resume in-person meetings when we feel it's safe to do so. We note for record that we have all uh, five commissioners present. One commissioner, Commissioner Franklin, is with us by telephone, but he's also here. So welcome everyone and thank you for coming. Just a housekeeping note, we're going to have a public comment section later in the meeting. By default, all public visitors are allowed to view only. But during the comment section, you're going to be invited by the clerk to turn on your video and unmute yourself if you wish to make a comment. You don't have to, but you may notice the invite from her. To make the process easier, we just ask that each person joining uh, use some sort of identifying screen name so that if you wish to make a comment, we have a way to easily recognize you. This time we're going to have an invocation and afterwards we ask everyone to join us in the Pledge of the Flag, so please stand if you're able to do so. Lord, thank you for all the many ways that you blessed us. Uh, we continue to pray uh, that you're going to help us and help all those that are battling disease in our community. Please heal our community, our county, our state, and our nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, we need to approve tonight's meeting agenda, so is there a motion to approve the agenda as presented? I'll make a motion that we approve the agenda as presented, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank you. Commissioner Westers made a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. Commissioner Foster seconded the motion. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by raising your right hand. And Robert, how do you vote? Mine. Okay. All those opposed, same sign. The motion will carry four to zero, and tonight's agenda is um, uh, is approved as presented. The next item on the agenda is a personnel report from the county manager. Mr. Turner, do you have anything for us? Uh, nothing personnel-wise right now. Okay, thank you, Mr. Turner. The next item on the agenda is the approval of the prior meeting minutes from the month of August, including a public hearing on August the 2nd, 2021, a regular board meeting on August the 2nd, 2021, a public hearing on August the 5th, 2021, a public hearing on August the 12th, 2021, a special call meeting on August the 12th, 2021, a public hearing on August the 31st, 2021, and a work session on August the 31st, 2021. All the commissioners have been provided with a copy of these meetings. Uh, do any of you know of any corrections that need to be made? No. Okay, hearing none, is there a motion to approve the prior meeting minutes as presented? Make a motion. Thank you. Commissioner Swales has made a motion to approve the prior meeting minutes as presented. Is there a second? I'll second, Chairman. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Wester seconded the motion. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to approve the prior meeting minutes as presented signify by raising your right hand. And Robert, how do you vote? Robert raised his. Okay, yeah. you can see him. All right, all opposed, same sign. Motion will carry four to zero and the prior meeting minutes are approved as presented. This time we're going to open the meeting for public comment. Uh, during this portion of the meeting, any member of the public may speak on any topic of concern they would like to address to the board. This is not a question and answer session, but if you have questions, we're going to ask you to contact the county clerk and we'll have someone contact you in a few days and try to answer your questions in detail. We'll share the clerk's contact information at the end of the comment section, so have a pen and paper handy so you can write that information down if you need it. At this time, the clerk is going to invite all the public viewers to turn on your video and unmute yourself. You have to manually do that if you wish to speak, so please do so now. 
On your Zoom screen, there's a feature called Raise Hand, and it's located under the reactions at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to make a public comment, please use that feature, or you can simply hold up your hand and wave so that it's visible, and then wait to be recognized, and we'll recognize each one individually. Would anyone like to speak? If so, please unmute yourself. We'll give you a minute to do that. Okay, no one is uh, unmuting themselves, so there doesn't appear to be any public comments. We're going to ask the uh, clerk to share her contact information in case anyone needs that for just a few minutes. Okay, we can move on. Thank you, Ms. Finger. Okay, the next item on the agenda is uh, number seven items for discussion. And first is uh, 7A, road closure for Hanley Road. At our work session on August the 31st, 2021, the board voted to close a portion of Hanley Road in Commerce in Franklin County. Hanley Road is a dirt road adopted and maintained by Franklin County that extends from Hudson River Church Road to Highway 326. The residents and property owners along this road have requested that the county close the portion of Hanley Road extending from Hudson River Church Road north approximately 1,348 feet to the southern property line of Vernon Hanley whose address is 333 Hanley Road. Tonight, the board will consider a resolution officially abandoning this portion of Hanley Road. So commissioners, you have the resolution. Is there a motion to adopt this resolution abandoning this portion of Hanley Road? I'll make a motion that we adopt this resolution to uh, close that portion of Hanley Road. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Westers made the motion to adopt the resolution. Is there a second? I'll Thank you. Commissioner Foster seconded the motion. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to adopt the resolution abandoning the section of Hanley Road, signify by raising your right hand. Okay. Uh, Robert, how do you? Yeah, Robert's, Robert's for it. Okay. All opposed, same sign. The motion will carry four to zero, and the resolution. Abandoning that portion of Hanley Road is adopted, and so that becomes official. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the county manager's report. So at this time, I want to turn the meeting over to Mr. Turner. Thank you. Um, so what we're just going to go through briefly is just an update to the bonds that the county currently has. Uh, just to kind of let us know where we stand with those and any updated information with those. So we actually have two bonds that are available uh, for us right now. So we first have the water and sewer fund bond. That's the 2008 bond. Uh, the total of that was issued of $4,190,000. And it has a maturity or, or payoff date of March of 2023 uh, currently. So we actually only have uh, two more payments remaining within that bond. Um, it does have the ability to be paid off early uh, if, if we are at that point uh, with no, uh, there's no penalty to that. Uh, so currently with remaining balance to that, we have approximately $700,000 uh, remaining on that 2008 bond uh, that we can get paid off here in the next, at the latest two years. Morning and morning. The other other bond that we have is the series 2016 go bond or general obligation bond. Uh, so that's the bonds that uh, were tied to the Tycott Regional Medical Center project, uh, the series 2010. And with those uh, with payments starting in of uh, July of 2016, uh, we're scheduled to pay off for that one to be in July of 2035. Uh, currently with that bond total being about $9.585 million, uh, 1.195 million has been paid back and 8.39 million remains. Um, we currently again have a bond rating of an A2. It would be the only consider, 
uh, probably the only real consideration of financing would be if we get a few years further um, within this bond. Uh, right now, we're still at a pretty uh, reasonable rate, uh, but it does have an increase to it that comes after 2023. Um, it would probably be an ideal time for us to start considering if we if we can or need to refinance um, in probably the middle years of this. Uh, it's probably not of real benefit to us at this time just because our, our bond rating has not exactly uh, increased from the time that the bond was issued, but also, too, because we're so early within the bond, uh, I don't know that we really get a, a huge benefit within that. And that is the update to our bonds. Any any questions about our bonds, either one of those bonds, water and sewer or uh, series 2016 go bond? Commissioners, do you have any questions for Mr. Turner? I do not. I don't know. Thank you for looking at that. Oh, yeah, no problem. No. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. And then the next thing that we have is just talking briefly about the economic development summit that we have upcoming. Uh, so this is something that's, um, put together uh, by the IBA and Chamber uh, for us. Uh, it's going to be September 22nd uh, at Carnesville Community Center at 930. And I just wanted to kind of briefly mention this in a little bit more detail than just simply the announcements, uh, just so that we understand exactly what's going on with that. Um, the purpose of this is just to help us make sure as leadership that we have an understanding of economic development uh, would be the first thing about this. Um, it's important as we're especially looking at these times of growth that we have as a county, uh, that this is going to give us a good, uh, I think a good, uh, baseline and understanding of how economic development, number one, impacts the county, but also how we can grow the county through the ED. Uh, so it's, uh, I think a good, uh, almost seminar or, or whatever you'd like to call it, class of some sorts, just an understanding exactly how that works and, and what we can do with that. Uh, I think the impact that it will have to the leadership and everyone that does attend, as I think it does help us also better uh, be able to identify and explain any type of economic de development impact that we have within the county. Uh, so if we do get questions from citizens, it does help us to better answer any of those questions. Uh, it also is going to help us, like I said, with the growth that's coming, the decision making that comes along with that. So it's really important, I think, that, that we do understand those things. We are going to turn around after that and work out something to, to be able to have that same type of education um, specifically for the citizens, um, just so that everybody does have a good understanding of how these things operate, what they do mean, the generalities to what those processes are, uh, just so that everybody is, it, I think it just brings everybody on the same page a little bit further to where we all understand exactly you know, where we're going and these are kind of the steps of how to get there. So, so this went on the, on September. What was the date? The twenty second. The twenty second. That won't be for the public. That'll just be for county officials. It, it is still an open meeting because we'll still have a okay. forum um, with some of the individual groups. But uh, we primarily, specifically, invited other municipalities for this, um, and, and it'll still also be recorded. Uh, so we'll still have it there, uh, but it, it'll be a little bit more high level. I think, uh, but then when we go back through and have a bit more of a breakdown to the citizens, I think that's going to be uh, the one that's more beneficial. Okay. Commissioners, do you have any questions? Any? Do you have anything else? What was that, what was that date again? Uh, September the 22nd at 9.30. Okay. Thank that's you. at the Carnesville Community Center. Any other questions? Okay, the next item on the agenda is announcements. Mr. Turner, do you have any announcements? Yes, just uh, again announcing uh, our Hometown Heroes event. That's going to be November 13th. Uh, of course, we are still always looking for any sponsors, vendors, um, food providers. Um, you know, again, we really want to make sure that the community is involved and that we have, uh, you know, a great time with everybody being able to come out and celebrate this. Um, also, too, we just want to take a second just to, you know, thank the trustees and staff uh, from the sheriff's office uh, as they were able to clean up. You probably noticed around the courthouse, uh, the bushes around. Um, they did a really great job doing that. Um, so a special thanks to the trustees and also with staff of uh, Shabby and, and Jamie Dove that uh, you know really coordinate these things for us. Um, you know, the trustees really do a great job around the county for us, keeping things nice and neat and clean and getting to some of those spots that you know maybe we aren't able to, to reach. Okay. Any others? 
That's it. Okay. I've got a couple. Uh, we want to announce and congratulate the Double Church's Volunteer Fire Department. Earlier this year, they applied for the Assistance to Firefighters Grant, and James McFarland notified me that they've been awarded the grant for nine self-contained breathing apparatuses. And so Mr. McFarland asked for me to extend thanks to the Board of Commissioners uh, on behalf of the department for approving the grant. And that was back in January, if you guys remember. They also want to thank Patrick Larson and the Georgia Mountains Regional Commission for helping them to write that grant. So congratulations to them for being able to get these this equipment. Uh, and then I want to echo what uh, our county manager said on behalf of the board. We want to thank the trustees and we want to thank the sheriff for providing that service for us. They do a lot for us and we appreciate it very much. Uh, the public health crisis with coronavirus continues to be a significant problem in our county. And I just want to urge everyone to be safe, practice appropriate social distancing measures when you're out in public. Area hospitals have been on EMS diversion in the past few weeks, which means they aren't taking patients. They're brought in by ambulance. Right now, our hospital, Sacred Heart, is on critical care diversion, which means if you have a condition that you would need to be admitted to the hospital, the ambulance can't take you to Sacred Heart. They're going to take you somewhere else. Uh, many of the area hospitals continue to be filled to capacity. They have few beds available, so they just ask everyone to please use either your primary care physician or urgent care for anything that's not an emergency. Reserve 911 and hospital vi ER visits for emergencies. We hope that this current wave of infections will let up soon, but we don't. that's uncertain at this point. Uh, board members, please try to drop by the county office next week and see the clerk so you can sign the minutes that we approved tonight and the resolution. We're going to need signatures for those. Maybe not for the resolution, but for the minutes. And this is just a reminder, the board will meet next uh, for a work session on Tuesday, September the 28th. This meeting will also be virtually, and we'll release the information closer to time. And then we can, in the, as we get closer to the end of the month, decide about in-person meetings in October. Uh, Commissioner Wester, do you have any announcements? Uh, just a, a big thank you to uh, uh, Richard Roberts for all the hard work that he put in for the 9-11 uh, memorial service this past Saturday morning. And a uh, thank you to Ashley Dodd and to Tim White for their help with it. Uh, it turned out to be a really good thing. Had had a really good turnout, I thought. We probably between 30 to 40 people there for it. Okay. Any others? Uh, Commissioner Swales, do you have anything? No. No. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Franklin, do you have anything? Commissioner Foster, do you have anything? No, I don't. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. At this time, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. All right. Thank you. Commissioner Westers made the motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. Commissioner Foster seconded the motion. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to adjourn signify by raising your right hand. And how does Robert vote? I, I don't know. He got, oh, on, he got on the meeting, and so we left a phone call. Okay. I, I can't see him, and he's muted, so we'll we'll let that motion will still pass. Three, we'll say three to zero, and Mr. Franklin not voting. Yeah. So we, based on that, we stand adjourned. Thank everyone for joining us tonight. Thank you.